I'm going to do the PDK software update on this project car to check your your software version. Go, so go to the PDK and then click extended identifications and you can see here the software version is Q033. This car is a base Boxster. My S had Q031 and it updated it to Q 061. So I'm assuming this still needs an update. So we to do the update, come over here to programming, automatic programming, hit next. Yeah, that's interesting. It says only going to update the DME and the PDK. So we'll see what happens because the TSB, the Technical Service Bulletin, says it's going to update the instrument cluster as well. Maybe the instrument cluster doesn't need to be updated in this, but we'll see how we go. So it gives you a few warnings there. Make sure you've got a decent charger on it. And off we go. Okay, so it's now up to step nine. It says switch off the ignition, don't remove the key, just turn it off. The PWIS won't disconnect. And then it says continue with F12. Switch on the ignition. So we're not starting the engine when we do that. Press F12 to continue. So I've just hit F12. Everything's been completed successfully. Now what it tells me to do in the technical service bulletin is to go back to the engine and do an adaptation of the throttle. So I'm just going to deselect that. Maintenance repairs. Adaptations, F12, okay so the engine's off, the ignition is on, the accelerator pedal's not pressed and the park brake is engaged. And just engage the park brake. F12 and so start with F8 and back with F12. So F8. Ah, oh, see, I think you've got to select. There we go. Select that first. Press start. Oh, I don't know what's doing that. Let's just check that there's no fault memory in there. Okay, so let's just uh, delete all of those. There's some leftover ones from where I've been mucking around with other stuff. It's not even saying it's active. That is really, really strange. So I don't know what's going on there. Fault in airbag triggering unit, no signal. Okay, 
let's just go back here. Find out what's going on here. Gonna delete all those memory. It looks like there's some sort of PSM problem. There wasn't before I started here, and sometimes that can spit the dummy to loads of different things. Okay, let me look through those now. There's a lot of stuff disconnected on the car at the moment, which is why. Let me have a look at all of those. Yeah, that's all good now. So for the DME, let's just see what we've got. So the DME is empty and the PDK is empty. Right, so let's go back. And let's delete to deselect all of those. Let's go down to the DME, fault memory. There's nothing in there. Let's go to maintenance repairs. Adaptations, F12, that's all good, just like that. Now let's see if it'll execute. Okay, so it's adapted that there, F8. We go back. So that was different. Obviously, having codes in there. There was after I did the the software update on the the PDK, which included the DME and stuff. The PSM, which oftentimes like it's just connected to everything. There was obviously a bit of a, a latent code in there. So I deleted all of those codes, and then it's been able to do the adaptation. And as you can see here, the software version of the PDK has now updated to Q061. Also, I've noticed on the instrument cluster, it seems to have reset itself, so you'll have to reset all of your preferences on the MFD.